These guys can look outside the window for hours. Huh, do you like the new window in your new house? All right, hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you have never seen any of my videos before, um, quick little recap of my life. My husband and I just moved from Albuquerque, New Mexico to Omaha, Nebraska. And this is my first time ever moving. I have lived in the same house, in the same city, in the same state my whole life. Never really have moved, so this is my first time. And now I see why people, I always hear people say that they hate moving and that it's very stressful and a lot of work. It has been a lot of work. I feel like I've gotten a lot of stuff done. But my house is looking like this right now. That, with the exception of this, that is a huge pile of trash because we still don't have our trash can yet. So yeah, it's just accumulating for now. One thing that I wanna focus on today is um, my closet because I have a lot of clothes. I really do. And although I decluttered and went through my clothes like in October of 2021, I feel like I wanna do it again just because it's been almost a year since that. And I feel like my style has changed a lot. And also I realized there's a lot of clothes that I thought that I was going to wear and that I wanted to wear, but I just never did. So I'm just gonna have to get rid of it. But anyway, that's what I'm gonna go through today. And I am also gonna try, it is fall now. So I'm gonna try to take all my summer clothes out and only hang like the fall winter clothes out because our closet is not super big so I don't have a ton of room for all my clothes and Tobias clothes because we share a closet. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Oh man. The thing is that this is not even all because I still have some clothes in the closet. The closet goes out like that way so there's clothes that you can't see from here. But this this is a lot okay let's get started i think the first thing that i'm gonna do is um hang all of my husband's clothes and put his clothes away because i don't really like to go through his stuff and like declutter his stuff i feel like that's his thing to do um so i will do that first that way it seems a little bit less overwhelming because then there's a, a smaller pile on the bed so i think i'm gonna do that first and get started Hey Bruce. Bruce, I didn't know you were here. Can you get off the bed? Oh, I don't know if you can tell, but our mattress is on the floor, and that's because we don't have a bed frame. So we did have one in Albuquerque, but we didn't think it was worth it trying to bring it because we honestly didn't bring any of our furniture. We just didn't feel like renting a U-Haul. So we just stacked up whatever we could in the back of my parents truck. This is what it's looking like so far. Everything on here was Tobias stuff. Um, I just hung all his clothes. I'm not going to make him declutter if he doesn't want to, but I will make him take summer things out because this is like all his clothes. This is summer spring winter fall like this is all of it so i'm just gonna ask him to look through so that we can store all the summer stuff but i hung it for now because it's probably not going to be until the weekend until you can look at that so um i don't want stuff just laying around so i just hung it for now and then i put all his pants and shorts right there and i have these two little bins one has his underwear and one has his socks we do not have a dresser at the moment so this is just it'll have to do for now um and then this is a collection of all of our shoes so it's looking kind of crazy now we have my stuff now this is everything that was hanging in the closet like the side is completely empty now so i'm gonna do two things i'm going to so i'm gonna declutter but i'm also going to make a second pile of summer stuff so that i can start storing my stuff away because our closet isn't that big, so I don't think all of our stuff will fit. Oh my gosh. No, both of you guys. When did you guys? Oh. 
You guys are so cute though. We won't have room to hang all of our clothes, so obviously I will have to separate the summer stuff plus also declutter. I think I took a bigger bite than I can chew on because so my dogs needed to go outside and I took them and in the like laundry area I had stacked a bunch of boxes that needed to go down the basement so I was like oh while the dogs are outside I'm just gonna start putting some boxes in there and then I just kind of got lost in that and then I was like oh I'm hungry I'm gonna eat something and before I knew it time had passed but anyway my husband is on his way home and I need to get started on dinner, so I'll try to make this quick. But basically what I have done is made a few piles, which I, my summer pile, like look at that. I don't know if you can see it. Like this is all I have in the summer pile. There's like five things. And I think the reason is um, a lot of my summer stuff like I'm getting rid of. But also I feel like because I have a lot of like tank tops, they can easily be also used for winter because I can just like layer on top and so that's why a lot of my clothes can be both summer, fall, and winter. But I made this little pile of things I am- oof! This is what I'm gonna get rid of. And a lot of this stuff was hard for me to get rid of because it's just so cute and I love it and I want to wear it. But any time that I wear things like this, I just- I just don't feel pretty or I feel like they don't look good on me like for example well this one it's super cute I love how it goes like off the shoulder a little bit I don't like off the shoulder shirts I think they're annoying but the reason why I like this and why I bought it is because even though even though it is off the shoulder it still has like these straps right here you see but the reason why I'm getting rid of it now is because the quality of this isn't so great. So I don't know if you can see on camera, but like this part kind of like, it's like pink-ish. You can't really see it on camera, but. And then it's kind of see-through. So if I, I always have to wear like a nude color under and I don't know, I just feel like I can find something similar, but a little better quality. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. And then there's things like this one. <laughs> I love this sweater and I actually would wear it a lot. The reason why I'm getting rid of it is because I would wear it a lot and it's kind of like a lazy, it's not very cute and the message isn't very positive. <laughs> Silly, but it's not, you know. So I'm gonna get rid of that. And then there's shirts like blouses that are very, very cute, but my problem with them is that they just have too much going on like they have like print on them and that's just not i don't like wearing stuff like that i like wearing like simple things i don't like patterns or anything like that and then this one i used to wear it as a like cover for a bathing suit which is very very cute but i kind of outgrew it and it is very tight on me excuse me but yeah there's just a lot of shirts that are very girly very cute but they're just not me and i don't wear them i don't reach for them so i'm just gonna get rid of them because there's no point in keeping things that i'm not going to be using or needing and then i made a pile which i might go through another day right there that is my maybe pile and i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try it on and if I like the way it looks on me, I will hang it. Maybe, um, so all my hangers are black, but the previous owner slept brand new packages of white hangers. So I think on my maybe pile, after trying them on, if they still fit and I like the way they look, I'm gonna hang them on these white hangers and I'm gonna give them like a second chance. And if like I still don't reach for them, like then they're out, you know? Back to it. 
I am noticing that my tan is fading away a little bit. Like I feel like I tanned really, really well this summer and it's starting to fade away and I'm honestly sad because I like, I think everyone likes the way they look tanned, but I really, really like the way I look tanned. <laughs> so I'm gonna start fake tanning here pretty soon. But I wanted to show you guys kind of like what's going on. This is a pile of summer clothes that I have, but this is a maybe pile. So I'm gonna try everything on today and I will decide whether I like it or not. I'm not gonna show you guys every single piece, but I will show you guys a lot of it. So let's get to it. Okay, here's the first shirt and I am honestly loving it. Okay, I went to get a little stool because I'm short, but I am so thankful that I tried this on because it is so so cute the only thing is I think I'm gonna like I don't like how much cleavage it shows so I think I need to buy like a little bralette so that it like covers a little bit more here and also it has like a little opening on the belly and I'm not used to showing a lot of skin so I think I need like a little you know like those bra like the lace bralettes that go like up to here something like that well actually that wouldn't cover the belly well if I wore high-waisted jeans it would I don't know I need to figure out how I would wear this, but it's so cute. Up next, I have this long sleeve blouse and I love it. I love the color of it, but I do not like how loose this is on here. I feel like I will constantly have to be like pulling my shirt up and I do not like having to do that. Or maybe just go off the shoulder. Does it do this? Maybe it does this. This is cute. Hmm. Okay, maybe I will keep this. This is cute. But like what bra do I wear with this? I do not know. Guys, I am not the most fashionable person. I'm like slowly, slowly starting to like... I'm using Pinterest a lot to plan outfits and things like that, but I really struggle. Okay, here is another one that I'm really, really having a hard time deciding because oh, I just feel like first of all the material it's very very nice like I love love this material it's kind of like it's warm and it kind of has like it's kind of like I don't know it's like a gooey nice material I absolutely love it but what I do not like is like that I have to be constantly adjusting this and making it stay but now that I'm looking at it right now, it doesn't look too bad when it's scrunched up like this. I was like trying to make it so that it's like not scrunched up and I was not able to do that. But now seeing the way it looks, it actually doesn't look bad at all. The only thing is of course, if I move or raise my hands or anything, it does this and I have to adjust it. But I don't think I will be doing that a lot. I could probably wear this like to church or something. Because like at church, all I do is like sit and I don't have to be adjusting so much. Okay, I have made some decisions. So these are the things that I'm going to keep. Um, I am going to keep this one, the one that went like one off the shoulder. This one, this green sweater. And what else? This other beige one. And this one, I couldn't decide whether I wanted to keep it or not because I love the quality of this. I love the material. I love the color. But the collar, like this part right here, I'm not sure if I like the way it looked on me. I am going to keep it though and then maybe try it on with um a different style of shirt under and see if i like that better and if i don't i will then get rid of it but for now i am going to keep it <clears throat> this stuff i decided against them because most of it was either not my style or i just like for example this sweater i love this sweater it is so warm and fuzzy and i just love the material and it's so comfy but it's not flattering to my body. Like it kind of makes me look wide from the 
from like the belly area it makes me look like I have a big belly and obviously I am not gonna wear clothes that makes my belly look big and then this dress I actually so it still has a tag on it I bought it for a costume for Halloween costume last year but then I ended up finding something better and I never returned the dress because I thought it was cute and I can use it again but I just tried it on and it's one of those other dresses that's not flattering to my body it just doesn't look good on my body type so I just set it against it um, and then these I didn't try on so I think I want to make a decision just not trying on this is a Victoria's Secret shirt it is like a transparent shirt so you can see so this is a uh, sports shirt so you're supposed to wear this to work out and I love it I have not worn it because it's just so sparkly and intimidates me but I feel like it is very cute and it'll motivate me to work out if I have cute apparel so I'm gonna keep it and this one oh see stuff with sentimental value are the hardest thing to get rid of so this t-shirt it has armpit stains and I did wash it and it didn't come off so I don't know I don't think they will come off but the, the shirt I love it it's also very soft very like gooey nice material and I love it and this is a shirt I wore for my bridal shower and it's one of the reasons why I'm not sure if I should get rid of it um, my bridal shower theme was La Loteria and so my aunties make these for me and this one says La Novia and my husband had one that said El Novio. It's just so cute but I don't think I'll ever wear it again because it would just be really weird if I wore a shirt on public that says La Novia when I got married years ago. So that's one of the reasons why I don't want to keep it. Plus we got the armpit stains. So I mean I guess I have pictures with it and I don't need to keep it. I don't know I hate this. Okay and then this shirt. <laughs> so dumb my husband and i we're gonna go with some friends here in nebraska to a baseball game and then that baseball game got canceled because of the weather it was raining but they gave these free shirts like when you walked in the thing is that by the time my husband and i and my friends and i went in they only had medium and large and so they gave me a medium but even then i think it's too big and i would never ever wear this like at home um but since it got canceled we did get our tickets like they're not refunded but we can use them for any game of the year so we yet have to go one and i'm wondering if my friends and my husband will be wearing the shirt so i feel like i should just keep it until that baseball game comes and then i can get rid of it but i don't know it's like humongous like i don't know if i would know how to make this look cute and flattering so uh, this dress oh my gosh it is gorgeous okay i love it the thing is with this dress is that it fits me humongous because i have small shoulders so the solution is obviously to sew it i have some like pins that i've used but because i have not sewed it um it's been years that i don't wear it that's just me being lazy so i think that if i can make time to sew it or find somebody who will do it for me and i can pay them i will probably wear it again so i think i'm gonna keep this dress because it is very very cute here's the thing like i don't like using things or wearing things that have like a lot of design on it like a lot going on like as you can tell all these shirts are like plain and that's what i feel comfortable with but this dress is really cute and i typically make exceptions for summer dresses so i think i will make an exception for this and give it one more try and if i don't wear it next summer then i'll get rid of it but this is gonna go in my summer pile this sums it up i am getting rid of these things which breaks my heart because a lot of these things are cute but i am just way too picky and a lot of the stuff they're not my style they're not my color and i don't wear them so they don't need room they don't need to take up space in my closet it doesn't look like I got rid of a lot and I really didn't but it is a lot considering that I decluttered like October of 2021 I decluttered my whole house and I decluttered my closet so for there to still be things that I kept that I don't wear is kind of a lot but I'm gonna get in the habit of decluttering every like six-ish months because my style changes 
some clothes like there's a shirt in here that I'm getting rid of that I absolutely adore and I love and I used to wear a lot it's like this striped blouse and it has like a a crew neck and I absolutely loved it but I wore it so much that the shirt literally has worn out and doesn't look as flattering as it used to so I think I'm gonna slowly start adding like staple pieces to my closet and just really investing in clothes that is high quality and it's durable yeah I am so happy I went through my whole closet and I feel like a lot of this clothes like as I wear it I will kind of like maybe change my mind about some of it because I always do that like I look at it and I'm like oh this is cute I'm gonna keep it and then like I never reach like I've never reached to grab it or I do reach to grab it and I wear it and I'm like ew this does not look this does not look flattering on me like I thought it did so even though I still have a lot in my closet there might be still a lot that I'm gonna get rid of but for now we're keeping these and getting rid of that and that is going to go on storage for summer so yay i'm done with my closet it's literally a different day because i completely totally forgot to finish the vlog last time um that is all for this video thank you so much for watching we'll see you guys next time bye